In this video, we want to look at how to place hydrogen atoms, or how in general to deal with hydrogen atoms in Olex2. So we're using that structure called water um, that is shipped, and this is how it's shipped. It grows, so we can grow, control G is what I pressed here, and we can click on this and then shift, both shift and control, we can move it over. So this is the structure we've got, we only see half the molecule and the hydrogens and the hydrogen bonds that are shown look fairly reasonable. Now let's refine this. So in order to do this we go to work and refine and just have a look at the refinement package. We choose Shell XL and go Control R and it refines and we should now have Q picks. I press Control Q to show these extra picks. We can also press um, F2 to go to a white background which might be clearer in this case. So what we see is um, the biggest peak is 0.8 and it's, it's it's sort of out in the middle of nowhere but um, if you look at this peak that's reasonably high Q3 0.72 and that is sort of an angled one. Now if we click on here we can look at the affix commands and it shows that these hydrogens bound to the metal were fixed with affix 7 which is a reasonable thing to do it's supposed to rotate around and find the ideal position but is this actually right in this case so this is the question we're asking ourselves and um, these were placed i'm going to delete them if i type H add, so this will just add uh, the hydrogens wherever they are required. In this case, they are just missing off that oxygen. Um, it's grown. So the structure is grown. It tells me I need to first fuse the structure. So I type fuse and then H add. And um, that, where are we, is added the hydrogens again as the um, affix 7. Now, the other way to add hydrogens is we can delete both of those and then actually click on this oxygen and type H add minus R. So this will add the hydrogens as a restraint. It looks exactly the same, but notice the little seven isn't here. So this doesn't, this means there's no um, constraint on this hydrogen. So if you refine this, what you will see is these actually refine straight up. And this is probably more to, to reality what happens in the structure here. So here, one thing that we notice is that Q peak, that's now Q2, is quite big. This is actually where this hydrogen could be. So one way we could deal with this is, well, basically we need this hydrogen here and this one needs to move over there. Well, we can do this. We can select both uh, that, that, that water molecule and then click on this fit button here. And then we can right click on the bond that we want to rotate around. And we can now just grab just the hydrogens here and move both of them over so they are uh, like this. If I hit Control R again or type Refine, so this is actually quite happy. So here we've got a head-on uh, perpendicular uh, water molecule, whereas this one is actually bent with respect to the metal. And that's probably real in this particular case because... Um, that's probably fine. This is hydrogen bonded and this is not. So there we go. A similar thing happens here. Now, what we could have done, I delete those again. We could have also added H add with a minus R, H add minus R to this. And this would have uh, restrained these hydrogens. So they're no longer um, a constraint, a restraint. We can look at this. I select this whole thing and click on this and we can see that there's the fixed artis and dungs on there which effectively keep it a happy water molecule now which is better to use so obviously this one uh, the restraint fitting has got more flexibility but if they're not well behaved then this is the less uh, good option if we constrain them then they are riding on the parent and therefore they are probably uh, better suited for this. So here again, this is a hydrogen. These hydrogens were placed with the constraints. I'm just going to delete them and press H at minus R. Or in fact, I could just use the up key because the last command is remembered. Control R or refine. I want to cycle four cycles and look at five remaining peaks. That's how you do that. So now these Q peaks are all tidied up and the R factor is significantly lower than what we started. So this structure was actually um, not quite correct the way we ship it, and I think this is uh, this is uh, showing you what's happening here. Now a couple of other things. 
Um, these phenyl hydrogens, we can look at them. I select all of these bonds in turn, and if I type cell minus L, like the current select, list the current selection, I can see those distances, and they're all exactly the same. And that's because these are again uh, refined as riding hydrogens with affix 43. If you wanted to remove that, what we need to do is select those hydrogens and then just type affix zero and that will remove the um, constraint and control r will now refine them freely you've noticed a bit of a change here the r factor has not changed and if you select this again and up key for cell minus l we see the distances are now slightly different now in this case i actually believe it's probably better to um, refine them as a constraint um, but I guess the jury is out there. Uh, if you want to put the constraint back on, we can, oh, I clicked on this one, we can just add h add 43. That's what we wanted, affix 43, control R, and we are, we are, we are totally happy with that. Okay, so um, control grow, grow this and then res uh, resent it and then maybe resume it a little bit. So you can see the structure is quite a happy structure now and um, it was was not happy before but I think the hydrogen placement now is, is altogether somewhat improved. Now I'd like to show you a little trick that you can do because you see the age at uh, functionality adds hydrogens to where where they the Olix two things or where they're actually possible where you can add them correctly but of course the geometry must fit so on this one Olix two will never fit anything else but but a, a an affix 43 hydrogen because of the uh, distances here now if you did know better and you know it's distorted and you did want to add a different type of constraint on this you can do this you just delete this one so i'm uh, this is wrong what i'm doing now is not correct but i'd just, just like to show you the uh, ability so you can actually go h add 23 so this adds again the grown structure it gets me every time um h add 23 so there's the hydrogen it added earlier so there are a couple of pitfalls here, so I'm going to delete this one now properly, and now it's deleted, and if I now go H add 23, it will add two hydrogens because there are two bonds, so carbon's got four bonds, and this is now of course rubbish, and we can refine this, and it will refine, but there will be a big Q peak here, and the R factor has shot up because these hydrogens are clearly incorrect in this place. So it's an H add 43, and there we go. Another little thing that you can do, um, you can make Olix to add hydrogens that, that maybe aren't non-standard. So this, again, what I'm doing now is just showing you the concept. It's, I'm not saying this is what we're trying to do, but we, what is correct. So this is a water molecule, don't get me wrong. But let's say you wanted this to be ammonia. So what we needed to do is make this into a, a nitrogen. So name N. That's good. But how do we fit three... Um, hydrogens to this. So one thing you can do, you can basically find yourself a direction. Let's just, you know, do complete carnage here and, and uh, delete that as well. So we can define a, col a um, direction and now we click first on this and then on that. Um, three hydrogens is 137. So if I now do H add minus 137, it will add three hydrogens to that in a constraint mode along the axis that I provided. So for this, I needed to provide an axis, and I can do this with the other axis as well. So I delete these hydrogens, and I can say, well, the direction that I define is this one, and repeat the command. So it adds those three hydrogens to this. And if I refine this, it'll happily refine. Um, of course, it's rubbish, it's not correct, and I'm not claiming it is. So I just wanted to show you how you can add these uh, constrained hydrogens to constructs where they're not actually possible. But you can do this in this sort of case to maybe model ammonia. So let's just go back, name O, refine this, and we can clearly see the hydrogens here. So we do H add minus R. Um, Olix2 places them in a sort of random place. It doesn't actually take these peaks into account. It's much more interested in hydrogen bonding directions. And we go Control R with that, and uh, we have, are back to our. Good model, there's still a large shift. Click on that, what's moving is that hydrogen still. 
Control R and there we go. A final word, if we type HTAB, then we see a list of all the hydrogen bonding interactions in this um, in this in the structure. And if we go up here, you can see the uh, max DA distance is 2.9, the minimum angle 120. If you wanted to go further out, you need to type HTAB. Um, let's go, say, go, go to 3.1 and 120 again. And you might get a few extras. You didn't get any in this case, but this is how you can change the um, distances here. You can also go help HTAB and uh, you can type log, uh, not log, um, text. And that will bring up the text, the transcript of what everything that's happened. You can read the description, uh, what happens, and that also allows you then to have other elements here. So by default, we're looking for N, O, F, C, L, S, and B, R, but you can also add any other element you like. And finally, you can go um, H tab minus G. So what happens here, it graphically displays, Control Q to switch the um, QPX off, it graphically displays all the hydrogen bonding interactions so that they're shown um, at least once. Just a little one in the Draw Plus extension module, you have the ability to change the sort of display of these hydrogen bonds, um, select hydrogen bonds, and then you can change the radius of those hydrogen bonds and have have ability to, to show only um, uh, hydrogen bond hydrogen. So you end up with just showing the um, network clear. Um, so so this is now the minimum set of showing all hydrogen bonds that happen. Uh, grow dollar $m. This will uh, complete all of the um, fragments that are shown, but only on the metals. And now you have a picture of what's going on in terms of hydrogen bonding in this structure. Well, this was just a little uh, video on hydrogens and placement of hydrogens in this structure. I'm intending to make a few more of this in the near future because I think hydrogen placement is quite an important topic. But here you go. Thanks for using Olix too.